Hi everyone, I'm Heba and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a tag video and I was tagged by this sweetest YouTuber. Her name is Candy Denise. You need to check out her channel and I'll link her channel down below. Again, her name is Candy Denise and she tagged me in this video for, and it's called Blush is Bay. B-A-E. Bay. Okay, I have to admit, I am older than what I thought I was because I don't know what bay means. <laughs> so I had to ask my daughter what it means and she said it's kind of like a shortened version of babe. Or if you put the, the initials, if you, I guess it could be like, what is it, an acronym, I guess? Before anyone else. So I guess that's what bay means. And this tag was started by two YouTubers and their names are Natisha N and Danny Bow, and I'll also link their channel down below. And so I guess we need to give credit where credit is due. They're the one who started this tag. Well, all right, let's get to this video about blushes. Blushes is bay. Wow, okay, I have to get used to saying that. <laughs> okay, let's get to it. There's gonna be 15 questions, and the first question is, do you prefer a cream or powder blush? And 99.9% .9 of my blushes are powder. So I guess that means I prefer powder. Second question is the weirdest color blush in your collection. Now weird, you know, it could be subjective. What may be weird to me may not be weird to you or what may be weird to you may not be weird to me. But to me, this is kind of like a funky color to me. And it's by Chanel. Here it is right here. And it is the number 380. It's called So Close. This was in their collection, their winter collection, last winter. And I got it right here. It's really like a bright orange. Actually, it's what I'm wearing right now. I thought I'd wear it today. And excuse my gray hairs. <laughs> I'm getting it cut and colored next week, so <laughs> they're growing out, so I need to get it done. But anyway, here it is right here. It's kind of like a bright orange, and a little does go a long way. I mean... Let me blend it out here. It's it's a real pretty color, especially on a you know deeper skin tone. I think it's real pretty, but it is kind of a weird color when you see it. But I like it. <laughs> All right, that's my weirdest color. Number three, do you prefer high end or drugstore bl blushes? Well, I think I prefer high end, but I'm starting to get into the drugstore blushes, and we'll see how that goes. But for now, I prefer high end. Okay, number four, since we're going into high end, number four is the most expensive blush in your collection. It will have to be the Chanel one, the Chanel that I just showed you. It sells for $45. I kind of like it. I kind of like the Chanel blushes. Number five, what is the most inexpensive blush in your collection? And for me, it is by Milani. And this is in the shade number 11, Blossom Time Rose. This one here, you can find at Walmart, and I got it for $6.97. It's a real pretty, pretty rose, and I love how it's shaped. Let me swatch that one too for you. There it is right there. You know, it's kind of subtle for the price. It's really good for the price. And the Milani brushes, this is my first one I've ever bought from Milani, and so far I'm liking it. So far I'm liking it. Number six, what is your favorite blush single? All right, again, it's gonna be by Chanel. <laughs> I know, I didn't plan on this, okay? This is, I, I don't have that many blushes to begin with, but anywho, this is by Chanel, and it is my favorite single. This is the one I go to all the time. And this is in the shade 260, and it's pronounced Alizane, I believe. And I've had this one for over a year. And it's 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 what I go to. It, it does have a little bit of a sparkle, but this is my favorite single by far. All right, question number seven. What is your favorite blush palette? Okay, I have this one here. It is by Viseart. It's right here, and this is the number two. This is the Rose Coral, and I really like this one. This is my favorite palette one. Whenever I travel, I'll usually take this one with me because you can use it for any kind of look you have. If you're going for an orangey, 
a red look, you can use this side. If you're going for pinks and purples and roses, you can go on this side. And it has different uh, depths, I guess you could say. So yes, this is my favorite blush palette. Question number eight. The oldest blush in your collection. Okay, I have two of them. Because <laughs> I have two of them. And they're at, at least five years old. At least. And I bought them, I think it was with a, a gift with purchase... Or, no, 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 it was, it was one of those purchase with purchases from Lanco. And these are pretty much the only blushes that I've had for the longest time. And there are two of them, again, and here they are right here. Let me open this one here for you. Here they are right here. This is number, let's see, this one's number 385, and this one's number 128. They're real pretty, and I've used them, but I haven't used them since I've been you know, finding new blushes that I can use, but these are my oldest brush blushes, and I'm even ashamed to say that I still have them, but memories, I guess. <laughs> All right, question number nine. The newest blush in your collection. Well, okay, I did get these last week. They came in the mail, and they finally came, and they are so pretty. <laughs> and they come with a good cause. They come with a good cause. They're called the Philanthropy Cheek Collection, and it's by Shantakai. And I got two of them. And I've got, I got the Horse Joy, and this is the Turtle Grace. So you can kind of see they've got the imprint of the animal in there. And they've got a little bit of shimmer in there. And they're real pretty. I really, you know, when I saw it there, a girl's got to get it, you know? <laughs> Not only are these real pretty, Shantakai will support the endangered turtle, which I believe is called Wide Cast, and for horses to roam free. I'll list everything down below. I'll try to put the name of the organization that they support on the screen. And when you close them, let me close them here. When you close them, they look like little pocket watches. I think it's real cute. I think it's real cute. But yes, these are my newest blushes. Okay, question 10. What is your party blush? I'm assuming that's what you wear during a party. And for me, I'll have to go with my Chanel, the number 260, Alizane. This one, like I said, this is my go-to blush. And it does have a little bit of a sparkle, so it could be considered, you know, party. Hey! <laughs> but this will be considered my party blush. Okay, question number 11. Blush you have four or more of from the same brand. Well, I don't have four of them. I have three, so I figured that'd be close. And they are by Becca. They are the, the Luminous Blushes. I have three right here. And let me open them for you here. This one here is Tiger Lily, real pretty tangerine. And the second one is Dahlia. It's a real pretty deep, I guess they call it a Cabernet color. Real pretty. And the third one I have is called Blushed Copper. Now this one here, it broke. So I can't really quite tip it over. So that's Blushed Copper. Question 12. Any blush buying regrets? Yes, I have one. And it is a cream blush. This one here, it's by Givenchy. And I bought this, believe it or not, at Walt Disney World in the France Pavilion in Epcot. You know, let's go to France and go shopping. Uh, this was my first cream blush ever. Here it is right here. It's called Rose Delicate. I guess I'm not used to cream blushes, so yeah, this one's my, my regret. Maybe I just need to try cream blushes more often, but yeah. I'm sorry, Givenchy. I'll try to get used to it, but... So far, it has been my regret. Question number 13. Blush you purchased because of another YouTuber. Emily Noel 83 And I'll link her channel down below because she's, she's a wonderful YouTuber. And she had this, I believe at her end of the year special, she had this blush palette, the Makeup Revolution, the Ultra Blush palette. And I saw it. And for the price, I believe this one was like $7 or $10. I'll list everything down below. And the one that she had was called Hot Spice, but the one that I liked better 
was sugar and spice. I believe that's sugar and spice. Yes, sugar and spice. And here it is right here. That's real pretty. But because of Emily Noel, I did buy this one and I've been really pleased with this one. Number 14, is there a blush from a brand you haven't tried on your wish list? No, I, I've tried looking, but I haven't quite found a brand that I wanted to try yet. So hopefully there'll be one that will, well, that will pop up later. And number 15, favorite blush brushes. I have one and is the Real Techniques blush brush. <laughs> I, I love this one. It is nice and fluffy. You use this for high end, you use this for drugstore, and it just blends in perfectly. This is my favorite and it's not that bad of a price. It's real good, good decent price. So this is my favorite blush brush. <laughs> All right, you guys, those are the questions of the blush is bay tag. And I'll be tagging some other YouTubers and I'll list them down below. And even if you don't see your name and you see this video and you wanna do this video, feel free to do it. I mean, I think it's gonna be fun. All right, everyone, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.